The Kogi State Government has rejected the two COVID-19 positive cases announced by the Nigeria Centre for Disease Control, NCDC. In its daily report of new cases on Wednesday, the NCDC said Kogi had recorded its first two cases. Only Kogi State and Cross River State were previously the only states not to have recorded any case of the virus. However, on Thursday, the Kogi State Commissioner for Information, Kinsley Fowle, describes the NCDC reporting process as fraudulent. We'll go on a short break, and when we come back, we'll bring you more news. Do stay with us. We're now being joined by the Kogi State Commissioner for Information, Kinsley Fowle. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Okay, you have refused the two index cases announced by the NCDC. Your Commissioner for Health says you won't accept any test result conducted outside uh, the state. This is foremost agency, the NCDC, um, in this fight against the virus. Why are you, some would say, against the NCDC? What are you afraid of? Uh, I think the question should um, rather go to the NCDC uh, to tell the world what they are afraid of. We are not afraid of anything. Uh, we are committed to the public health of the people of the state, and that is why we spent hundreds of millions to procure uh, testing and protective uh, equipment uh, for our health workers and our people. So we are, we are not afraid of anything. It is NCDC uh, that should tell the world uh, what they are afraid of, we should also tell the world the agenda of ensuring that every state uh, of the Federation has COVID-19. Was there no communication between your state's uh, government and the NCDC before this result was announced? That also should go back to the NCDC because there are protocols and procedures uh, for dealing with issues like this. No, uh, the, the NCDC, NCDC will answer their part. Not. I'm asking you as a yes. member of the state government if you got no, any we prior know, information. We wouldn't, know, we wouldn't know why NCDC took their actions. We did not take those actions. NCDC took those actions. And we cannot answer for NCDC. Why did they, why did they have to uh, carry the patient through the back door to Abuja without informing health authorities in Kogi State? That is the question for them. It is not for us. They, they took those actions, not the COVID state government. So I'm actually, um, I just to clarify, I was just asking if there was a communication prior to the announcement of the result. Yes, there was a communication, uh, communication that uh, they, sent, they sent the test results uh, to the epi state epidemiologist uh, to inform him uh, that they've tested people from Kogi State and they've tested positive and that Kogi State should start uh, contact tracing. That was all the information they passed to the state epidemiologists. So why would NCDC go ahead and announce these cases if they were incorrect? That's the question in everybody's mind and we want to know your perspective on it. Yeah, it, it's not about, uh, it, it's not all about being correct or not. Uh, it's about following procedures. Uh, the person who was um, uh, alleged to have been to have tested positive uh, had had some bees attack uh, at a burial ceremony. He was taken to the federal medical center. The authorities of federal medical center refused to attend to him. And when the state government went there, that yes, we are ready to attend to him. We are ready to take him to our specialist hospital. They told us the man had uh, discharged himself and ran away from the hospital, only for us to find out that. They used their ambulance and one of their staff followed the same person uh, to, to the National Hospital in Abuja. And on, when they go there, the first thing they were told is that they were going to be tested for COVID-19. And within 24 hours, uh, they announced that uh, he was tested positive. Without communicating with the state, you know, it's, it's, uh, it shows that NCDC was actually hiding something. Okay, that takes me to the next question. Now, this is a global pandemic. We've seen videos of people who have the virus. The Kogi state government stands on the matter, is suggesting to a lot of persons that something is fishy. There is an agenda being promoted. That's what we are understanding. Do you know something that the rest of the country don't? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, we believe that there is COVID-19. Uh, but we do not believe uh, that because of COVID-19, uh, every every part of uh, our life must must cease uh, from from going on. 
We do not believe that we need to stop our economy from running because of COVID-19. We do not believe that uh, our health institution, our health system uh, should all uh, be, be, be concentrating and focusing on, on a pandemic or an, uh, or an ailment that uh, is not killing as many people as malaria is killing. So that, that's just uh, the thing that uh, we, we, are, we are seeing that is different from others. We do not believe in the politics uh, and, the, and the coronomics uh, that is being promoted by, by some people uh, in NCDC. We do not believe that. As far as we are concerned, uh, I think they are, they are, there are things they are hiding. It's, it's fishy. And, uh, you know, they are not being straightforward in their operations. And that uh, it tells us that there are a lot of things that are being hidden. We had a conversation with the son uh, of, of the man that was, uh, that was taken to Abuja. And he told us all the truth about it. And uh, that his father was perfectly okay. And even when they put oxygen, uh, when they put oxygen on him, he said he doesn't want oxygen, that the oxygen was not affecting him. The, the father was fine. Even the boy that they said was tested uh, fine was not exhibiting any symptoms of of, of, of the virus. So it shows that there is something in CDC, there's an agenda. Are they working on numbers? Do they want to have as many people as possible infected? Are they, are they benefiting anything from the number of people they declare? Okay. You know, that credibility issue is, um, is, 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 a very, is a very major one.